Hi folks, it's me Andrea. I'm now working here in my garden and uh, while I'm working on my laptop I kept receiving a couple of emails from my Japanese Son of Rumors readers and they pointed me out to a tweet posted by some guy in Japan and he claims he spotted a new Canon prototype camera that might be the R1 high-end model. Here you see the video that has been shot at the G7 event in Hiroshima where you see a female photographer with a Canon camera and some people claim that this isn't the Canon R3. To check this out I did take a frame of this video, upscaled the image using Topaz AI and here you see the better image of that Canon camera and now I made a comparison with the R3. You can see it here. On the left you have that Canon camera uh, taken at the G7 and on, on the right you have the R3 and there are a couple of differences that I highlight in, on this image. First of all the bump of the EVF looks to be much uh, smaller and uh, less pronounced on that allegedly prototype camera while the R3 uh, has a bigger bump so that's actually the main reason why people are speculating that this is a new prototype camera and it might be that R1 that is definitely in development. The second difference is that mark uh, on the mount of the camera, that white strip, but that could be uh, simply a security mark made by the G7 security service. So I guess this, that's the reason that they checked the camera, they marked it, that it's safe to use. And the third difference is that it appears there are no buttons on that prototype camera. It may be that this, those buttons simply uh, you can see them because of the low resolution or because they have been taped. So I think the only reason that makes me think that this might be indeed a prototype camera is that the bump is indeed different than, than the R3, but this could be, you know, depend from the angle and uh, I don't know. Uh, so let me know what you think uh, if this is really the R1 uh, prototype camera. Uh, the reason why I think it's unlikely is because I don't think that at a, such a big uh, important event somebody would actually uh, take a prototype camera and risk to have a non-properly working camera with in such a, at such a big event, so I don't think this is it, but I wanted to show you that image because there is some kind of discussion and you make your own opinion on that. What's sure is that the Canon R1 is in development, that's confirmed by Canon, and it's rumored to be uh, announced by late 2023, early 2024 max and will compete against the Sony A1. The Sony A1 will likely have a successor in 2024 too, so uh, that will be an interesting battle. The Canon R1 is rumored to have a new full frame sensor that is close to 100 megapixel and also have 24 FPS mechanical shutter and 8K 60p and so forth. So it will be definitely a nice workhorse camera and I hope Sony will answer with the A1 II uh, by increasing the resolution, offering of course 8K 60p and a lot of new features that uh, uh, I would love to see in the camera like the new IBIS system, uh, all those AI features and so forth. Um, now, back, let's back up from all those wild rumors and go to real near certain rumors, the Canon R100. Uh, the most affordable entry-level APS-C R-mount camera will be announced very soon, that's confirmed, and the body only will be priced at $479. That's actually a competitor of the Sony A6000 series, but as far as I heard, Sony doesn't plan to announce a new uh, entry-level APS-C E-mount camera, so uh, I don't know if we will ever get a new entry-level APS-C camera anymore, probably more of uh, ZV E10 successor, so a vlogging APS-C camera, that's more likely sometimes maybe in late 2023 or early 2024. And the only APS-C camera we'll get this year, a photographic centric APS-C camera, it will be the A6700 coming probably within one month and two. So uh, about that I will make a new video soon. That's it regarding those wild speculations. Uh, let me know in the comment system what you think about that alleged R1 leak and uh, see you soon for my next video. Bye!